Hi guys and welcome to What If Tutorials. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to push objects with your character. Now in some cases you might like to do something like this. So in the tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate the position and the rotation of an object at the same time. So let's get started. What If Tutorials Right, so as you can see I've got two cubes here, cube 1 and cube 2. So if I play this nothing happens. So the idea is to animate this cube on the right to the cube on the left. So I'm going to show you how to do this. But first I'm going to add a new C sharp script. And I'm going to call it animate cube. Now I'm going to open it up in Mono Develop. Alright, when you animate something, you need four things. So I'm going to start with a start position and an end position, and then you need a lerp and a duration. So I'm going to say private uh, vector 3 start position and uh, end position. And I'm going to I'm going to initialize this over here. Start pause equals transform dot position and end pause equals game object dot find cube two dot transform dot position. Alright, so now you've initialized these variables. So now I'm going to go straight up to the animation. I'm going to say transform dot transform dot position equals vector three dot lerp. And this function needs a start position and an end position as well as a lerp which we have not yet made so I'm gonna make it right now I'm gonna say private float lerp and you also need a duration lerp always has to start with zero and duration will we will make one for basically one second so when I play this now nothing should happen as you can see nothing is happening and why is that that's because the lerp this this variable over here is still zero so you have to increment that value as time goes by so lerp plus equals time dot delta time divided by duration these two lines you can learn off by art because with any animation in unity well with most of the animations in unity this is what you'll use so now you have that I'm gonna drag this script onto cube 1 and it should work now let's see there you go okay so you can now animate the position but you also want to animate the rotation so think of the four things that you need you need a start rotation an end rotation the lerp and the uh, duration so you already have the lerp and the duration all you're going to add is this private quater quaternion start rot comma end rot and these you will initialize over here transform dot rotation and end rot equals uh, pretty much this I'm just gonna copy this except this should be rotation so now you've initialized your start and end um, rotations and now you can copy this and change a couple of things rotation rot rot so it should work now let's see if it works 
Right, so the other thing that needs to change now is this should be quaternion because it's not a vector. If you will look at your if you look at your transform then you see the position and the rotation and scale they all have one thing in common they've got vectors inside of them now for some or other reason the rotation is not a vector it's a quaternion and that does something else so that's why you had to use quaternion.lerp instead of vector3.lerp so this should work let's see if it works oh. So there you go. Now you know how to animate the position and the rotation in one script file. Thank you for watching and please give us a like. If you have time, download the game. Have a nice day. What if tutorials?